with her. They took my kindness and my mercy. And that was their mistake. Because now, all I've got left is a cold heart. They thrive. Hey guys, welcome back. We are playing the new Lucian today. Um, Raya tried to nerf him in the solo lanes to bring him down to the bot lane, but he's still pretty decent in the solo lane. Um, they actually give him insane amount of damage later on in the game. So you start with E, the one here, and every single time you use an ability, then you will auto attack twice on your next auto attack. So you can proc. PTA really really fast. Your E is this dash, so you auto attack once and then get two quick auto attacks off with your passive and that's gonna proc PTA. So that makes you really um, OP early on. And then your Q, like a laser beam that you can shoot through minions. Um, normally in the landing phase, you try to aim at the minions and then try to hit the enemy champion at the edge, so that's how you try to poke them down. So he's still really strong in the early game, but he's much stronger in the late game. Um, and they did make him better in the ball lane because um, whenever he gets empowered by an ally, then he gets some extra bonus damage on his next auto attacks. And then his W will apply a mark as well, and when allies also use that, then you also get some bonus movement speed, but besides that, he's still strong in the soul lane, guys. They try to play it aggressive early on. Make sure that you re win all the attacks after every single ability you set, so you make maximum use of that passive, because um, it works with all of your abilities. So you can like auto attack, E, get two auto attacks off, then you can W, get two auto attacks off, then you can Q, get two auto attacks off, just like that. So we definitely need to base here, but Grace teleported and he can just show in that wave really fast, so we have to wait for him. To push in the wave so just have to stay here and then once you want to base that has to be on a cannon minion wave if possible because that one will take some time for him to shove in so that's why we can recall if we want to since this was already the um Cannon wave, it showed in too fast so we can't really recall and we're also setting on a lot of gold so we don't want to force anything um, because we could get dove but we do see trundle in the top side. Just gonna last it for now guys and then we're gonna recall once we get the chance to do so. So we almost have level 6 and that's why the fun part begins so your ultimate gets bonus damage based on your crit chance. Um, so this ultimate alone can end up dealing more than 6000 damage. That's absolutely crazy. That's insane. But that's in the late game, so you need enough crit items. But that's why you just want to stay crit right now. Nothing else, just crit. This is a cannon wave, so now we can go ahead and base. And get the items we need. We're gonna go for a more damage heavy build. That's why I'm gonna get the Berserkers, and then we'll get the Kraken Slayer, but you can also go for Gale Force. So tier 2 boots of course gives you a really nice early game, now we got that ultimate guys, the calling, 
just gonna fire a lot of shots and they can get body blocked by the minions. But in the lane phase, you typically use them to execute people, you know, when you took a really good trade and they're low HP, then you can use that ultimate to finish them off with. And you can also use your E while channeling that ultimate, it is not going to cancel it, and same for Gale Force. But this game we're going for the Kraken Slayer because it gives you much higher damage. Just try to poke them um, by queuing the minions and then try to hit them with the edge of your queue. That's how you try to slowly will down the opponent and then you can finish them off with the ultimate. An enemy has been slain. These guns An ally has been slain. It can be hard to hit them sometimes if they are super mobile but you'll get used to the queue once you put in a couple games on this champ. That's a really nice queue, so that's how you want to poke them. Um, you can weave in your abilities when you push for towers, but if you think that you need them for a fight right after, then just don't waste your abilities. This was a really good trade. Look at how I weave in abilities with my auto attack, so I'll make maximum use of that passive, guys. That's what's crucial on this champ. So that right there was a really good fight as well, so you will have some mana issues early on. That's why we have presence of mind, so that's gonna help a lot in team fights. As soon as you get one takedown, you just get some mana back. And that's how you can use the ultimate to finish off people with when they're low HP and they're out of range from your auto attacks or rest of your ability, so just use that ult and put them down. So this game, Kraken Slayer because I'm going for more damage, but you can also go for Gale Force that gives you more mobility and then you also get that one time dash that can be used as a finisher as well uh, because it also deals damage, but it has super high cooldown. It has a really high cooldown, that's why I don't really like that item, but you can also go for that. So my wife is half dead. So a cool thing you can do against Grave Smith, even though he can be really oppressive, is that um, just stay behind the minions when you trade with him because his auto attacks will get blocked by the minions. So that's a way you can make sure that you'll be losing out on a lot of damage. It is an AD carry after illusion, so you want to make sure that you kite like I did early on. You get a ton of bonus movement speed when you mark somebody with a W and then auto attack them, so use that to kite with. Constantly move back while auto attacking. Um, if you can do that, then you're going to be really good at Lucian and just AD carries in general. An enemy has been slain. Everyone I shoot is Everyone I say is An ally has been slain. So ultimate doesn't really deal that much damage early on guys because they made it a scaling ult. Of course you get more crit chance and that's when it starts shredding people. You can take down most champs in the game, in the late game when you have enough crit and armor pin for that ult. But that presence of mind kicking in right there, giving us enough mana to clear out the wave, and then we can recall, get the Kraken Slayer. As I said, I'm getting Kraken Slayer because I'm focused on more damage this game, but Guild Force is like the core item on Lucian. Um, if you look at stats and such, and most people are building that, but that does give you more mobility but less damage. 
This is like a hyper carry build that I'm going right now. It's gonna make you good against every champ. So he has a really nice power spike early game. He's a lame boy. Then he was also strong in the mid game and now he's also strong in the late game if you can get to these crit items because um, one ult is gonna take down any AD carry. You're gonna one shot them with a single ultimate. Once you get enough crit because this ultimate can deal over 6000 damage from this ult alone guys. We win your abilities when you want to push but don't use it if you think that you might get ganked soon, then you might as well just save your abilities and then just push with your auto attacks. An ally has been slain. We're just punished by uh, pushing mid here. Because we saw Grace was bot early on, so we're just gonna. This is how you punish people for roaming. Just. Show minions into the tower and then just push as fast as you can, and this way we got two towers for free. This is a good way to punish people, especially if you meet those AFK roaming players. And now we can follow this up by looking for roam in the bottom side after we took that red buff. Just a little mana so we had to preserve some of it so we can actually get that kill off in the bot lane. So our team did a really good thing by taking down Kaiser's ultimate, so she has much lower chance of escaping, so that's really good, so before you roam, um, go in for the gank, then try to make your teammates spit out their movement abilities, so it's easier for you to get that kill. Also W gives you vision of an area, so you can use that to scout for people. Now, if you think somebody's camping somewhere, then you can use that W to check before you go in. Sitting on a lot of gold again. We're gonna get the Essence Reaver, that's a core item. Because you get some... Um, you restore some mana, so after this your mana issues are gone. You have Presence of Mind, you have Essence Reaver. But even more importantly, you get um, the Sheen passive that works so great with your abilities, because you are a caster type gem, so you'll be using abilities a lot. And Sheen pretty much empowers any AD champ that are caster based. Doesn't even have to be AD, AP also works if you get Lich Bane of course, um, Cassidy and Echo and so on. So any AD champ that relies on using a lot of abilities and we win auto attacks, that's where Jean is a core item and that of course counts for Lucian and also something like a core key. So no, um, it is a lane bully, you get a couple kills, then you start taking over the game. Um, you have so much damage that people don't, won't really be able to match you. Um, so you just have to force stuff, look for kills and then turn that into objectives. We got everything in the middle lane, so that's why we're just pushing bot right now. It would be really nice to get to a late game where you can really see how much damage the ultimate is going to deal but this game will not go to late game because I was already super fit so we can just end whenever we want to actually, we just need to start grouping. By using that W, she actually got uh, Graves killed, um, so that was kind of funny, but you know, um, in the later stages you don't have to use that ultimate as an executor, you can just use it even if they're full HP, as long as they don't have anything to 
blo block out the ultimate with because it can take in a carry from 100 to 0. Doesn't matter if it's a mage or an AD carry or whatever it is. So if there's a lot of move, uh, room for you to move around, you can use that ultimate at the start of the fight. Still an ultimate is always nice to have because you can go even more ham. So it is early on to take the inhibitor, normally you don't take it before the 20 minute mark but we should be able to end on the next push. Um, that was our thought process so that's why we just took down the inhibitor. So at this point, when you have so much gold, um, what you buy next depends on how they itemize. So if they're buying a lot of armor, then you get the Cerulean Scrudge um, for the armor pin. But if they don't have any armor, then you go straight for the Infinity. That's going to give you the biggest damage spike. Because now you get even more damage and now your ultimate is going to shred people. So we can just push down a lane right now, um, mid lane is done, there's nothing left, so no point in going mid anymore, so we just have to go bot. Or we can also brute force mid if we want to. So the only time you want to go mid after taking down the, inhib the inhibitor is if you are so strong that you can just dive people and then straight up end the game. Otherwise you just leave that lane once the inhibitor's down. Then you either go bot or top or you take down objectives. We're just gonna brute force right here because we are so fit guys so they can push mid if they want to. We can also just go top and push it down slowly but if we can end straight away then just go ahead and do that. Because the enemy team gave up right now, so that's why we just hit it back and push down mid. And then we can just go ahead and end the game. So that was it. Hope this was helpful. As always, see you guys in the next one.